What's up YouTube, Barcode here. Today I'm bringing you another Dragalia Lost video. Uh, my last video was about farming, and this video is going to be about endgame. What is the current endgame as of October 12th, 2018? Well, let's get into that. Uh, before I start, I just want to give a shout out to Psy Games and Nintendo. Okay, they did an amazing job with the community feedback, and it's only been, what, a week? since the game started. Uh, two big things. One, uh, they gave us pretty much uh, 6, 12, 18, 180 free wings for co-op just because they know it's an issue. We complain, we troubleshoot, you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is huge. They're investigating other ways to uh, involve co-op with the players. If they're going to lower the wings, if they're going to get rid of them, who knows. But at least they're looking into it, investigating it, and it's going to be uh, fixed in the future. And that is great customer service right there. The second thing um, that we got today was uh, 300 worm right. And not a lot of people are actually at this point in the game, but it's in high Midgard trial, okay? Um, so there's a fix to the stun effect of the trial um, back in October 2nd, but it was really never fixed completely. Um, so they updated it, they did a little fix, and gave everyone in the game, whether you're trying it or not, 300 worm right, worm might. Worm might, worm might. So uh, kudos to you guys. Um, and every God, it seems like every two, three days, there's a notification from them. They're on point. They're on the ball. So shout out to you guys. Speaking of high Midgard and end game content, right now when there's no PvP, there's no guild battles. Um, right now the end game is the high. Midgard Trial, which is a nature dragon. Um, now, a lot of people, we don't really know exactly what to think of it, just because there's no big water content um, currently, um, but there has to be a reason that it is in the game, and this is the first dragon you start with. And speaking of that, your main character is Fire Yudin, and he starts with a nature dragon. So think about that. Um, so current end game right now, okay? Uh, I'm gonna talk about it and then I'm gonna kind of tell you what to shoot for um, and to work on along the lines. Um, this is way farther down the line when you, you're farming and you've, you're working on onslaught teams, okay? Um, and there's not a, a current event going on, then definitely you should, if you wanna work towards an end game type uh, field, then this is probably where you wanna shoot. So. Once you defeat all the uh, the Wind Dragon on Master in the Dragon Trials, you will get this High Midgard Trial. I say High Midgard because I'm not going to try to pronounce the full name every single time. So uh, you need a total might of 13,000, and that's just your four best characters, your four best weapons, your four best worm. All right, okay. You can get that um, over time. So 13,000 what you need to enter that. I'm at like 12,100, so I'm not quite there yet. However, this is the trial, okay? Um, and what this drops is, uh, you know, food for your dragons to level them up. Uh, the windworm scale, squall scale, which I'll show you what that is for. And then also the windworm great sphere, which I'll show you what that is for as well, okay? Um, but you know, obviously I can't show you any content what it is because I am not there yet. Um, but it is a high difficulty and you need the worm prints from the treasure trade um, to be able to do this trial because he hits like a champ. So let's go into the treasure trade shop and show you, you know, what these thing, what this trial can drop for you and then how to get there. So if you don't know, the treasure trade is in the shop here in the button and it's at the bottom treasure trade okay um, so let's go into what it actually drops first so the dragon trials will drop a wind five star dragon which gives an ability of wind hp and strength up to 20 percent now um, i'm sure once you unbind it completely it might go up to 30 or 40 who knows um, unless someone else knows they can comment below it might be on wiki um, so you can check that out, but, um, and also dragon time of 15%, which is great. Now, this is the only high dragon trial in the game. 
So think about it as this, there's probably going to be some kind of water content coming up in the future uh, that might be the next high Midgard, or not Midgard, but high dragon trial. Um, we just don't know yet because I don't think that's in Wikipedia yet that I've seen anyway. Um, so that's how you get it. And to get one, you need five great spheres. Um, obviously, once you redeem the first one, it's going to be more materials. So over time, you're going to need more and more in farming of the high Midgard trial. You also get another Fafnir statue, which you do get one. Um, I think when you complete Master Dragon, I, I have one already, um, if it's the same thing. Fafnir statue, HP, strength of your dragon, okay? Um, so you need more Great Spheres of that. So it's going to be a lot of farming for your end game status, okay? Um, now, how would you get there? How do you do that? Okay, first, let's go into the Dragon Trials. Um, you're going to be farming the Nature Dragon, Nature Midgard, a ton, okay? And what? And you also need to farm Onslaught, okay? Because you need to get, oh, that's the wrong one. You need to get Insignius, uh, Nature Insignius. Um, and to do that, you do Onslaught, you farm the Nature Onslaught. Um, so you get this, you get the, with 20, and it goes up every time. Uh, the Great Worm Midgard, uh, it's a four-star worm print. Um, but this will, um, it, it reduces the reduction of the damage taken in, in Nature Dragon uh, by 15% and, and wind resistance too. So it's great to use that while you're farming up um, the Nature Dragon, okay? Now you don't really want to um, level it up really and waste uh, materials on it because you need one max unbound Great Worm Midgard four star worm print to be able to summon the five star for the high midgard uh, resistance okay for for reducing damage by 20 percent from the high midgard trial okay so this is kind of one goal you want to step towards to be able to do your end game of high midgard dragon trial okay um, plus you get the wind resistance and it's just less damage the better now obviously 500 insignias is a ton, so you're going to be farming that a ton. You need 200 of these gold in, uh, royal jade insignias, which is only achievable in master onslaught. So that is another high level, high area that you're, you're just going to be needing to farm a ton of. Okay, so right now this is pretty much the end game. Now, hopefully that changes and there's more content or whatever the case may be, but as of right now, that's what it is. Okay. The second thing to think about is your adventurer. What what you're gonna build up? What are you gonna take for this high trial? You want to really specifically set your mind to one adventure that you want to build up for this instance, because you're just gonna be doing co-op nonstop for that. Okay, autoing it or you know doing it on your own is probably possible over time but it, it's going to take a longer time to build up a, a full fire team with you know every single card having uh every single adventure having that high midgard worm print okay um so what i'm currently doing is i'm going to level a healer and i'm going to level verica she's a four star healer her first skill is an aoe heal that has hp regen and her second skill has um restores the HP to the team member most in need. Um, double heals, great character, fire element, takes less damage, will be useful. Obviously the co-ability of all staff is uh, recovery with potency, so that's awesome. Um, she also gains, um, you know, potency of recovery skills for herself, um, so which is nice. And she, when she's at full health, she gains healing of 13% more. So even better I mean it's just great to have um, everybody there should be at least one healer on every single team now you're gonna want to get into organized groups that hopefully you don't bring two healers maybe that's gonna be beneficial to bring two healers depending on the time limit of high midgard trial two, uh, whatever the the highest content of time is um, so definitely um, definitely build a fire element for that now 
a couple other choices you could do. You know, probably the majority of us have Ezelith. Um, but I don't really feel like at that point, melee is going to be uh, a high function team. Melee, you know, it's just much harder to, you know, take hit, uh, you know, you take more hits um, if you're not on point on your game. Now, melee, melee characters can dodge and roll through after they hit a couple times and then roll through to the other side if they're quick enough, but it takes a high skill cap to use melee in um, higher dungeons, okay? So I would definitely build like mages you know, or, you know, archers, whatever the case may be. Now, um, one character that I do want to point out that I want to test with eventually is this three-star fire archer. His name's Joe. Good old Joe, right? Um, but what I like about him is, now I don't know exactly how it's uh, determined, but if you see this skill right here when you level up his mana circle, at full HP, he uh, has a chance to inflict a burn by 30%. Now, what is this burn based off of? I, I tried to look up on, on the, the Gamepedia. Um, I can't find any specific you know, instance what burn is based off of. Is it based off the character's strength? Is it based off of the enemy's max HP or whatever the case may be? Is it just a standard tick, uh, a damage over time that just depends on the skill level? Um, and is this on just, is this auto attacks? Is this um, skill damage? I, I just don't know. Um, and I feel like that could be really beneficial if if it's a ton of damage. Now, I, I just don't know that, but uh, I'm gonna actually build them up and test them out and see, um, but I mean, it, I won't know until that. Uh, I tried looking it up, just don't know. But um, yeah, definitely I'm gonna build Verica first um, and then Joe as an alternate in case I don't need a healer. Um, but I feel like with her and the five star uh, high midguard trial worm print, um, it, it, she's gonna be a beneficial benefit to any team that tries to go to that in game status. And while you're building, I mean, the fire unit is also not only going to be good for the high make guard trial, but that's going to help you uh, farm in onslaught, the nature onslaught that you're going to need um, to be able to do to get up to the point of the high make guard trial, which is the only current in game at this time. So um, hopefully more content comes out soon. Um, but until then, this is what it is. Um, I'm super stoked about the Halloween event that's coming up, so I already have a full water team for that. Um, not water, uh, light, anyway. Um, I'm currently building it up, anyway. Um, so this is my current light team right now. Um, Irfan is great. I might promote him with the four stars, um, just because I've invested in some higher level daggers, anyway. You know, this is a water element, but it still does damage. You can still use the skill. He just doesn't have any extra damage with the water. But um, this is my current team right now. Uh, it's pretty safe. Also, Ryzen actually buffs Irfan's strength because Ryzen does a AOE defense buff, and, and that's what it's in there. So this is pretty much my core Halloween team right now. Hopefully, I can replace Irfan with maybe a summon from the Halloween event. We'll see. But um, thanks for tuning in, guys. I appreciate it. Um, hopefully, you know we we see some end game, and hopefully, this helps you decide on what to do after you're, you know, you're, you farm the whole bunch um, of, you know, fortune or wherever you are in progression in the game. Uh, but this is where the end game is going to lead right now. So uh, thanks for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. Peace.